Number 12. Maksud Khan At some point in June of 2014, Indian man Maksud Khan visited the New Delhi Zoo and subsequently developed a deep fascination for tigers. According to his relatives, the 20-year-old man had become rather obsessed with the powerful beasts. After he'd lost his job, Maksud's visits to the zoo became more frequent. Then, in late September, he ended up in the same enclosure with a massive white tiger. There's some conflicting information on how Maksud had fallen 18 feet into the tiger's moat. Zoo officials said he jumped a security barrier, but eyewitness reports claimed he'd lost his balance. The tiger named Vijay weighed roughly 470 pounds. For several minutes, the feline just watched Maksud. As the tiger moved closer, the young man held his hands together in prayer. He cowered in fear as Vijay started pouring at him. Enraged by a screaming crowd, the tiger pounced and sunk its teeth deep into Maksud's neck. The man was dragged for several feet before succumbing to Vijay's suffocating bite. Number 11. Woman Mauled by a Gorilla Convinced she developed a personal relationship with a zoo gorilla, an unnamed Dutch woman would visit the animal several times per week. She'd often make eye contact with Boquito through the glass despite being warned against it. While smiling may be interpreted as submissive behavior, prolonged eye contact is considered a sign of aggression among gorillas. On May the 18th of 2007, Boquito climbed over the enclosure that separated him from the public at the Rotterdam Zoo. The 400-pound silverback brutally attacked the woman. Boquita dragged her for tens of feet and bit her over a hundred times. She suffered deep lacerations and multiple bone fractures. The gorilla then went on a rampage in the zoo's cafeteria and three more people were injured in the ensuing panic. Boquito was eventually shot with a tranquilizer dart. Even though she thought she was going to die, the 57-year-old was quoted from her hospital bed as saying, he is and remains my darling. Number 10. Nomi Rosas Fragosa Zoo visitor Nomi Rosas Fragosa faced losing her arm after she was brutally mauled by a jaguar at a zoo in Mexico. The woman had crossed the security barrier and approached the enclosure in order to take a selfie with the feline. It was a decision she'd come to regret. The jaguar, while still in its cage, had enough space to clamp its jaws on Fragosa's arm and scratch her face. This feline owns one of the strongest bites in the animal kingdom and can generate over 1,500 pounds of force. That's strong enough to chew through steel cables. In fact, that's how one jaguar escaped his enclosure at a New Orleans zoo. Fortunately, a group of bystanders intervened and dragged Fragosa away from the jaguar's cage. The woman was taken to the hospital in serious condition as the big cat had chewed through a tendon in her arm. Number 9. Maddox de Koch. In November of 2012, Maddox de Koch and his family were visiting the Pittsburgh Zoo and Aquarium. At some point during the day out, the two-year-old's mother put him on a zoo railing so that he'd get a better view of the African wild dogs below. The boy then fell, bounced off the safety net below the railing and landed in the enclosure. African wild dogs have a ferocious bite and are the most prolific pack hunters in their native land. They can devour animals as large as a zebra within 15 minutes. As soon as they saw the child, a dozen beasts viciously attacked him. Two-year-old Maddox was ripped to shreds by the dogs as his parents looked on, helpless. Even though zoo staff was quick to arrive to the scene, there was nothing more that could be done for the boy. Number 8. Elephant Attack in Rabat When it comes to fatal elephant attacks on humans, they're usually the result of the massive beasts trampling their victims. Yet, as evidenced by a terrifying incident at a Moroccan zoo, these animals are frighteningly dexterous with their trunks. In July of 2016, a young girl was killed at the Rabat Zoo after an elephant threw a stone out of its enclosure. A wildlife expert argued that the animals were fleeing various objects when they're bored or frustrated, but that it was unlikely the beast had specifically targeted the seven-year-old. Nevertheless, the child was swiftly brought to the ground and was pronounced dead within a few hours of arriving at the hospital. Number 7. Leopard Mauling at Wichita Zoo In May of 2011, a schoolboy was mauled by a leopard during a class trip to the Wichita Zoo. The first grader had reportedly gotten too close to the animal's metal mesh enclosure. He was facing away from the cage when the beast grabbed a hold of his head with its paws. The child screamed in agony 
as the leopard sank its claws into his flesh. It then tried biting him through the metal wire. Two other visitors witnessed the incident and came to the boy's rescue. They repeatedly kicked the leopard in the head until it let go of the child. The victim's injuries weren't life-threatening, but he did sustain some deep scratches on his face and neck. Number 6. Gorilla Attack at Dallas Zoo In 2004, Jabari the gorilla escaped his enclosure at the Dallas Zoo and went on a rampage. It's still unclear how exactly he'd scaled the 16-foot-tall concave wall. The animal injured four people, including a young boy. Jabari took three-year-old Rivers Noah in his jaws, biting him on the head and chest. The 300-pound gorilla also bit his mother on the legs and threw both of them into a wall. Fortunately, they both survived. Jabari continued his onslaught by terrorizing a group of children who were shielded by visitor Cheryl Reichert. The woman was snatched and bitten on the arm. The fourth victim, a child, sustained minor injuries and was treated at the scene. In the 40-minute rampage, zoo staff failed to tranquilize Jabari and he was ultimately gunned down by a police tactical team. Number 5. Binky Binky the polar bear was involved in several attacks at the Alaska Zoo in Anchorage. The massive carnivore weighed about 1,200 pounds and was described as aggressive. In the 1980s, he bit off a zookeeper's finger. Then in 1994, Australian tourist Catherine Warburton jumped over two safety railings to get a picture of the zoo's star attraction. Once the 29-year-old woman was in range, Binky stuck his head out through the bars and bit her. Warburton suffered multiple lacerations and a broken leg. Binky kept one of her shoes for three days, occasionally chewing on it. Only six weeks later, another beer attack took place at the zoo. Drunken teenagers were reportedly trying to swim in the pool from the beer enclosure. One of them was mauled and hospitalized with deep leg wounds. The zoo didn't confirm that Binky had been the culprit, but the polar bear was spotted with fresh blood on his face. Number 4. Jao Late Dos Santos While visiting the Sorocaba Zoo near Sao Paulo, Jao Late Dos Santos decided to get closer to the spider monkeys as he thought the animals looked friendly. It was subsequently revealed that the man had been drinking prior to arriving at the zoo. He climbed a fence into their enclosure and crossed the moat in order to get closer to them. The primates had already perceived Dos Santos as a threat before he'd even gotten in the water. Six of them had already gathered on the riverbank in defensive formation. As soon as the man got close, two spider monkeys quickly bit him on the wrist, arm and shoulder, causing him to bleed profusely. Shocked by the attack, Dos Santos retreated towards the end of the enclosure and was helped out by other visitors. Zoo staff found him on the ground, writhing in pain, and the man was taken to a local hospital. Number 3. Nayapum Promrati Thai man Nayapum Promrati narrowly escaped with his life after he was attacked by an Asian black bear at a zoo in the rural Phetchaban province. The man had reportedly teased the bear with food. Promrati had tied a rope to bowls of rice, which he tangled back and forth in the animal's enclosure. The enraged bear eventually stood up on his hind legs and dragged the man inside. It knocked 36-year-old Promrati unconscious, then ripped into his flesh with its teeth and claws. The man's friends rushed to his rescue and threw water on the bear while also hitting the animal with poles. The beast wouldn't be deterred and kept mauling Promrati while dragging him around the dusty enclosure. It was only after one of the man's friends had entered the enclosure and battered the bear into its cage that the others were finally able to retrieve Promrati. The man was taken to a hospital in critical condition but ultimately survived the violent encounter. Official They Will Kill You merchandise is now available at theywillkillyou.com. Some of it is to die for. Number 2. Gibbon Attacks Children In December of 2011, a gibbon escaped his enclosure at a zoo in southern Malaysia and attacked two children. The Siamang, a tailless black-furred gibbon species, first attacked a five-year-old girl and bit her on the ankle. Afterwards, it snatched three-year-old Muhammad Afik Hazik right out of his father's arms. The man struggled with the beast which bit Muhammad and tore out a chunk of his thigh. Another visitor intervened and hit the gibbon, forcing it to let go of the child. Zoo staff then recaptured the escaped Siamang and placed it under quarantine. Muhammad 
and lost a lot of blood but ultimately recovered from the attack. Number 1. Gugu the Panda Gugu the Panda was involved in three separate attacks on visitors at the Beijing Zoo but in all the incidents, the victims were primarily to blame. The first attack occurred in 2007 when a drunken migrant worker entered his enclosure. The man had tried to hug the panda but Gugu bit him on both legs. In a desperate bid to escape, the worker bit the animal back but couldn't get through as his fur was too thick. The following year, the panda attacked a 15-year-old street peddler who jumped into his enclosure out of curiosity. The 240-pound panda mauled the boy by tearing chunks of flesh out of his legs. His injuries were reportedly so severe that his bones were showing. Gugu made international headlines again in 2009. A zoo visitor had entered his pen to retrieve a toy that his son had dropped inside. The panda clamped down on his legs so hard that zoo workers had to use tools to pry open the animal's jaws. All of the panda's victims survived their ordeal but the repeated incidents led to him being described by CNN as not your usual soft and cuddly giant panda. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on one of the links on your screen for more videos.